So we are back with Blender. We are in the 3D viewport. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to work with 3D viewport, how to zoom or walk around. In this tutorial, we will learn how to move or modify an object, and how to add new objects. So, let us start with this default cube added by Blender. We have to make use of this toolbar in the left side. Let us expand it little bit so that you can see the options better. To move this cube, we have to select the Move tool. This tool has three handles for three different dimensions. You can click on a handle and move your mouse. The object will move only in that direction. You can call it a constrained move. If you want to move the object freely, you need to click within this small circle and drag your mouse to any location. To rotate the object, select the Rotate tool. You can rotate the object around any specific axis. The Scale tool allows you to resize your object. It has similar handles to scale the object in any one dimension, parallel to the three axes of the 3D geometry. Or you can click and drag within this white circle. It will then scale in all three dimensions proportionately. All these three tools have keyboard shortcuts. For Move tool, the keyboard shortcut is G or Grab. Rotate is R. And for Scale we have S. I did not find these shortcuts very useful, but you can try them if you want. Please note, when you try to move the object with this move tool, you cannot move it precisely to any specific point. It is approximate but not accurate. To move or to scale an object precisely, we have to use this properties panel. I hope you know about these panels, how to open or close them. If not, I made one video just on these panels. The link is in the video description. To modify your object precisely, select the object in the 3D viewport and come to this properties panel. We should be on this yellow box. There are many tabs there. We need to be on this tab where we can see the object location, rotation and other properties. Let us expand this little bit so that the text is visible. Let us now change the X position of the default cube. It will immediately reflect in the 3D viewport. Similarly we can change the Y or the Z positions. These positions are in meters, you can calculate them mathematically. We can also change the rotation values here. These fields accept values up to 6 decimal places. So they are very precise. The size property can be also changed in the same way. You will find it really very handy to modify your objects. Now let us add another object into this scene. But before that, let us move this default cube aside. Somewhere like this. To add another object, go to the Add menu. You will find many options here. There are different types of objects. But at the beginner's level, let us focus to the mesh. A mesh is a geometrical object, like cube, sphere, cylinder, cone and torus. Let us add one cube. Or rather let us add something different. We will add one cylinder now. Then, just like before, we can modify the location of our cylinder through this properties section. We can enter any value as we wish, and the object will move to that particular location. Another important thing is, you must have noticed that when we added the cylinder, it was by default placed at the origin. But that is not the case always. As you can see, there is a small circular icon at the origin. This looks similar to this cursor tool. This is called the 3D cursor. Blender always adds an object to the 3D cursor location. To change it, select the cursor tool and click at any other location. Now if we add an object, it will be placed in the new location. Then to delete an object, select the object first. Right click on it and select delete. To move this 3D cursor to a particular coordinate, press N on your keyboard. One panel will open up, go to the View tab and scroll down, you will see one section for the 3D cursor. Here you can enter the exact location and the 3D cursor will move to that location precisely. To hide this panel, again press N on your keyboard. In order to move this 3D cursor back to the origin, you can press Shift-C on your keyboard. The location and the rotation of the 3D cursor will be reset. That's all guys. In our next tutorial we'll discuss about different types of views in this 3D viewport. Thanks for watching.